father built. Yeah, he built that and a bit of an extension like onto the house and we used to keep water and buckets and everything there, you know. There was a mantle there, mantelpiece, like you know you'd have in the house and you'd have pictures or anything, you know, on, on it, and ornaments of any kind like. I remember a dance being here one night. It was it? My sister went to America and they had uh, seats and all and there and do you know who was playing? Uh, Christy Holliden. Not a dull moment on an island and you learn everything. Well, I didn't go to school until I was six and a half because uh, there were no teacher on the island. But growing up till I went to school, my mum taught me everything. To me, it was never isolated on this island. Never. You get up in the morning or any time in the day and have a look out and you could see for miles out to the mainland, out to High Island, out in the Scourge, which is the nearest island to us. You could see them all. If the weather was bad, you couldn't go to Boston. You had no phone to phone anybody. So they'd light a fire above on the hill. And they wouldn't give us the telephone because we didn't have a hundred people on the island. That was a bit much, I think. The atmosphere in the islands is different altogether. Whether that is that the island's still in my system and me blood, I do not know. I know there's good island blood there. I hope they stay there. <laughs>